Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about um, math functions. Yeah, okay, everyone's favorite math. Honestly, I'm actually, I actually kind of like math, but um, most people don't. But honestly guys, math isn't that bad. Like, it, it, when, you, when you learn it, it's not that bad. Maybe you have bad teachers, I don't know, but you'll get used to it, alright? Um, the, the, the functions I'm teaching you today aren't the most advanced ones. They're pretty simple ones, but stuff you need to know for sure. So, um, I'm definitely going to teach you it. Okay, so first things first, before we get into the video, um, make sure to leave a like uh, if you enjoy, and subscribe if you want more scripting tutorials. Also, use code TAP. Okay, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I have code TAP. All right, when you're buying Robux, use code TAP. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> anyways, so um, I have a list of functions right here I'm going to go through, and um, yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, so first things first, we're going to do math dots. Uh, floor okay so we're gonna do uh, math dot floor okay so um, whenever you do a math function first things first you do math and then dot the function okay or sometimes it's, it's a it's a it's a value uh, we will go over that too but um, the first function I'm teaching you is math dot floor okay so we're gonna go ahead and do um, math dot floor okay and what math dot floor it is it says it returns the largest integer smaller than or equal to um, X now basically what it means is it rounds the number okay so um, this is very useful if you want to round a number down so if let's say you have the number um, one point or we'll do five six point there you go okay it's not a pretty number um, if you wanted to like tell your or, like tell someone that that um, they have this much XP or something like that you they probably don't want to see that right so what you would do is you'd round it down or round it up um, uh, so you can go ahead and do math dot floor, and that's going to put it down to um, obviously six. Now I guess I'll go ahead and run it because why not? Um, we'll go ahead and print it out, and then hit run, and then here we go. It prints six. Okay. Now there's one. There's another function called math dot seal. Now um, if you see here, it says math dot floor. Okay. So that's math dot floor. And then this is math dot seal. Now it's pretty easy to remember. Ceiling is up, floor is down. Okay, so floor is going to round down, ceiling is going to round up. All right, so that makes sense, right? So now we go ahead and we have six point. We have the same number with math dot seal, but math dot seal automatically rounds up instead of down. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Um, next we have math dot huge. Okay. Now, what is math.huge? This is actually a pretty important one. You probably see this a lot. Math.huge isn't a function. It's actually just a, a value. Okay. So we're going to print math.huge. And I actually have never printed it before. This might break my game. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't think it will. But it's going to print like an, yeah, see, in, inf. You see what it says? It says inf. Okay. Uh, basically, math.huge is the largest number ever. It's bigger than the number that you think is large. It's bigger than that one, okay? It's just an infinite number, basically. So if you want to do something like and get the infinite number of it, you use math.huge. You don't have to type, you know, you don't have to type that number, okay? You don't have to span your keyboard like that. Even though that might be more fun, math.huge is how you do it. So, um, yeah. So I'll put math.huge, largest number. Okay. Um, next, we have math.random. So I've already told you this, I've already talked about this before, but math.random is um, how you pick a random number. So you do math.random and then you pick a number um, or you get two values or two numbers to pick from. So we'll do between one and 10. And then what it's going to do is it's going to print um, a number, a whole number between one and 10. So let's go ahead and hit the print button. There we go. Run. Da -da -da -da. Eight. All right, so we have eight. Um, but as you can see there, also you can't do it backwards. Do not do ten to one. It's gonna break your game. Dot, I mean, it's gonna break the script because it doesn't like that. So make sure you do the le least value first and then the greater value second. Um, yeah. So math dot random is, is that function? Math dot random. Okay. And then we're gonna do um, math dot rad. Now, what is math dot rad? Well, it's a pretty rad function. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. All right, math dot rad basically, um, it, what it does is it, it gives you, it returns the radians, okay, and it, it and you enter degrees, okay. So for example, um, it's useful whenever you're like making things like um, like C frame because when you actually enter a C frame, like you do C frame dot um, angles, as you can see here, it actually says, wait, look, it says. Um, number dot rx that means radian x okay so what you would do is you would just do math dot rad and then to put the degrees that way you don't have to actually do the math and then it'll just do it for you right there so let's say you want a 90 degrees and then you want math dot rad uh, 50 degrees you know what i'm saying Wh whatever you want but that's that's what it is all right hope that makes sense okay so um you have that 
Okay, and someone's talking in the background. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, anyways, so basically that's Matt. That's Matt that rat. Okay. Um, there you go. And next you have something called math dot degrees, which is the other thing. Uh, it's math dot degrees. Basically, what it does is it turns radians into degrees. So it's just the opposite of math dot rad. Okay. So we'll actually we'll, we'll, let's do math dot degrees. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna put in 90. Okay, so we're gonna do 90 degrees, and it's gonna turn it into radians. If you guys don't know what radians are, I should explain that. Radians are like another type of way to measure an angle. Um, I didn't even print it. I'm dumb. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and print it out. Okay, and as you can see here, it prints 5,156. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Um, radians, basically, what they are is they're just like it's it's a unit of angle. That's what Google says. Okay. It's a way, it's the SI way of measuring angles. And it's a standard unit of angular measurement in many years of mathematics. So yeah, one radiant is un, is under 57.3 degrees. So basically that's what it equals. So you can do the math, but this function will do it for you. And uh, yeah, so when you're doing C-frame and stuff, it takes radians. So what you just do is you use the math.radium function and it'll just turn it into degrees for you. So you don't have to do all the math. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so next, we have math.pi. Now, if you guys know what pi is, you probably do. Um, pi, it's like 3.14, whatever the, whatever the rest of the numbers are. It's an infinite number, basically. And uh, it's, just, it's just pi. Everyone knows what pi is, right? And uh, you might learn it in math class if you haven't learned it already. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a number that goes on forever. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really popular number, basically. <laughs> uh, okay. Next, we have math.pow, all right? So math. I'm assuming it stands for power, but basically what it does is it, it um, t takes your like math, right? So, okay, we'll do math.pow, and then it takes the first number, and then it puts the, um, the second number to the power of it. So, for example, uh, let's do five, and then comma two, um, and then it's gonna do, basically it's gonna do five, and then like, you know how you put that little two, like, like, like this? Let's imagine that two is like up there, right? Like so, like it's a little two up there. That's what it's doing basically. It's doing five to the power of two. Okay, so it's gonna do five times five, and then if we make this a three, it'll do five times five times five. If we make this a four, it'll do five times five times five times five. So that's four times. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it's gonna multiply it as many times as this number is. So um, if we do five to the power of two, it's gonna do five times five, and five times five. If you can already guess, it's twenty-five. So um, yeah, that's what that is. Okay. Um, so that's math.pow. Next, we have the last function, I'm pretty sure, and that's going to be math.abs. Now, um, you might have learned some math class as well. Math.abs, basically what it is, um, I'm trying to think of a good way to put it. Um, it, it gives you, okay, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm going to use the function first, okay? So we're going to do math.abs, and then we're going to put a number in here. We'll do 50, okay? And we're going to print that out. And basically, it's going it's to print. 50 okay math.abs is it gives you the absolute value of a number now what is the absolute value now you may have learned it in your math class and if your math teacher told you that it's um the positive number then she's wrong okay or, or he's wrong whatever gender they are <laughs> um it, it is the positive number it will turn any number you put in there positive but the reason why is because it gets a number okay so for example i'll, I'll put a negative 50 and you'll see what it will print out it's going to print out 50 okay so it prints out 50 right and um, the, what, it, what it's doing is math dot absolute value is it gives you the distance from zero so the distance from zero of negative 50 is 50 so that's why it gives you 50 okay it, it does give you the positive version of the number that's just kind of what it does but that's not why it does that if that makes any sense so yeah um, that's what math dot absolute value does this is kind of useful if you want to turn a number to positive but other than that, you might not use it. Um, but yeah, absolute value. If you ever seen like in math class where you have those little pipes, like you have, look, you have like, you know, like that. You've seen that before, right? You do like x minus that equals equals that. That's that's absolute value right there. That's what it is, right? Um, so yeah. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this was a pretty quick tutorial, shorter than my other ones, which is nice. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. That is math functions. Use code TAT when buying Robux or Premium. And uh, <laughs> leave a like if you did enjoy it, guys. Seriously, um, I'm trying to make more videos, more DevK videos, and you guys supporting them makes me want to upload more, okay? So I appreciate you guys leaving likes uh, and subscribing and doing whatever. And even watching the videos, seriously, I make these videos because you guys watch them. Seriously, I do. Um, so, yeah, I do appreciate you guys, seriously. But um, 
Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and you just go tap. All right, peace.